guys, my name is Carly Weiner, and I'm the Assistant Director for Transfer and Adult Recruitment here at Georgia Southern University. Um, you may or may not know, but Georgia Southern ranked in the top 10 most military-friendly institutions in the entire nation this year. So we are very proud of that. Um, if you are a military-connected student, whether you're a um, current service member, guardsman, or veteran, um, first and foremost, just thank you for your service, and thank you for um, your family's sacrifice. So um, I just wanted to make a quick video to walk you through our admissions process and cover um, a couple specific points that you may want to keep in mind. So your very first step, if you are interested in applying to Georgia Southern, is to go to admissions.georgiasouthern.edu. Um, you'll scroll down and click this apply button on the gold bar. Um, and this is where you can read about our different student types. If you're not sure how to apply, um, you can explore our three different campuses. So we have a um, campus in Statesboro and Armstrong, as well as our Liberty campus um, in Hinesville, if you're stationed at Fort Stewart. That's a really convenient option. Um, and then you can review our majors and create your application accounts. So um, you'll just fill in your information here. That way, if you don't finish the application all in one sitting, you can definitely come back and continue it. Um, if you currently are serving active duty, we do have application fee waivers, so you can, um, I'll link both of these in the description box for you, um, but you can go to this page and fill out this waiver, um, and at the end of the application, it'll ask you if you're using an application fee waiver, you will just check yes, and then upload this PDF as an attachment. Um, keep in mind, you can fill this out and go ahead and attach it to your application before you have shown us your military ID. So please do not ever, ever scan or email us a copy of your military ID that is against DOD regulations. Um, but we'll just put a hold on your account and get it from you later, either when you come to campus for orientation or for first day of classes, um, or we can always schedule a Zoom meeting with you to view that information as well. Um, I also just want to point out that if you are um, doing like an Army Ignite account and you select Georgia Southern, um, that's not your application to the university. You do actually have to do our um, admissions application on our website, which is what I just showed you guys. So once you have um, submitted your official um, online application, your next step is to send us official transcripts from all previously attended institutions. So um, not just your most recent, but all of them. Um, this does include the Community College of the Air Force as well if you took any classes through them. So um, you can usually just request this on that um, institution's website, but if you have any trouble, definitely reach out to their office of the registrars um, and I'm sure they'll be able to assist. Um, if you've never attended college before, um, no worries. Um, and also congratulations for even considering that next step in your educational journey. We're really excited um, and hope that you'll consider Georgia Southern. So um, if it's been within five years since you graduated high school, then in that situation, we would just need your um, official high school transcript as well as ACT and SAT test scores if you have them. Um, if it's been more than five years since you graduated high school, um, we kind of assume you've learned a few things since you've graduated, um, and we're not going to hold your high school GPA and test scores against you. Um, we'll give you another opportunity to pursue higher education, and so we would just need proof of high school graduation, so either um, that official high school transcript or a copy of your diploma or GED, if that's what you have. Um, and then once we admit you, we'll just have you take a math and English placement test to determine what level we need to put you in for you to be most successful here. Um, and then the last thing, while it's not required for admissions, I do recommend it, um, is your joint service transcript. So again, I'll put this link in the description, but it's JST dot dod ed dot mil. Um, if you're a current service member, you can use your PAC and log in. Um, otherwise, if you're a veteran, you can just create a login um, and go through the process of sending us your official JST. Um, depending on your rank, MOS, the kind of trainings you've gone to, uh, we may be able to give you some college credit for your military experience. So um, definitely worth that extra step. Once you're admitted, um, you'll go through orientation, you'll have access to your student portal, you can see what credits you've been awarded. Um, and then once you're actually enrolled in classes, that is when you will want to um, send us your benefits request if you are planning on using any VA military benefits. 
um, we do host events throughout the year, um, myself in conjunction with our military and veteran services office. So um, we'll go over this more than once. So keep your eye out for military visit days if you've never visited one of our campus or um, pre-SOAR military workshops if you need help requesting your certificate of eligibility from the VA or completing any kind of residency steps or anything like that. So, um, but once you have attended orientation and you have your class schedule, um, you will log into your My Georgia Southern Student Portal and at the bottom of the second column will be this Military and Veteran Services tile. And this is where you will um, let us know you're planning on using benefits and giving us permission to certify to the VA that you're registered for classes here and request those benefits on your behalf. So you will just fill out this information um, to start that process. So that is all I'm going to share for now. Again, my name is Carly. Um, my team would love to assist you through the process. So if you just email transfers at georgiasouthern.edu um, or call our office at 912 Four seven eight five three nine one. 478 We would be more than happy to help. Um, and again, check the description for those important links and phone numbers.